Hello everyone! So let's take a look at the go-to statement. So this is similar to if in that it can be used to control the code flow. Um, I quite often use these two together, um, which is why these two tutorials are back to back. Um, basically what GoTo does is it allows you to jump to specific sections of code. So I do find this particularly useful uh, used with if because if, for example, the customer I want to update doesn't exist, then I want to pass a certain message back to the calling application and go to the end by passing like, the rest of the code. Um, so we'll just take a look at how I would often use this. Um, I've already written it up here just to make it quicker. Um, so I have declared an output variable here. Um, which is a varchar and I have set it to um, default as success. So whatever else happens in here, unless this changes, this would output success down at the bottom here. So what I'm then doing is I'm saying if my customer doesn't exist, then change my output message to be could not find customer and then go to the section of return message. Now you do have to label the sections of code there which I've now called this return message here so that it knows where to go when I tell it there go to. Okay and then in between that um, I've just put a select here for do some stuff. <laughs> so we can see here if I run this my customer does exist so this does not execute, it does some stuff, and then it outputs success, okay? If I change this to minus one, we can see now that it does run the if statement, so it's setting the output to could not find customer. And then we've got the go to return message here, so we're going straight to the section called return message and we are bypassing the bits in the middle here. So the only thing we're getting out of the stored procedure now, or oh, this bit of code because I know it's not an SP yet, <laughs> all that we're getting out of that is the output there. Now you can build this up um, and do multiple ones of these. I sometimes end up with a whole list of them so that I can output um, different messages dependent on on what I've asked it to do um, but yeah it's quite a simple one but I do find this one really really useful so if you did enjoy this uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and feel free to add any comments or questions um, below uh, the next tutorial in this series is going to be the insert update and delete statements so yeah thank you for watching bye